Uh, I don't remember Gerard's voice. My, what a sharp fellow you are. Now do an old man a favor and help me search for that coin, hmm? Another strange gizmo. We got his nose. All right. We need to talk to Zapone here. Looking at through the mysterious disappearances around the village, are you? Well, let me give you my take on the situation. Well, um, um, is there something the matter? Ah, uh, yes, now I remember. If it's rumors you're after, take a tip from a fellow detective and go ask Crouton. He owns a restaurant in town. Well, is that? Nope, it's the cafe. Well, where the hell's the restaurant? Where the hell's the restaurant? Is it this way? Hey, it must be. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> Had to get my coins. There we go. There should be one more, right? Yep. Well, let's move it out. Moving out. <laughs> oh, it's Deke. I don't remember Deke's voice. You're looking for the restaurant now. It's not far. Just head. I think I got it. Just think ahead a little west of here. But before you run off again, I've got a tip for you. And by tip, I mean puzzle. <laughs> if you want to experience all that same mysterious to offer, you can't just run from point A to point B. Take some time and explore the city from corner to corner. You'll be glad you did. Much appreciated. We'll be sure to give that a try. Come, Luke. We have work to do. Uh, we are not exploring from corner to corner. We're getting these coins. It would get the F out. No? No more coins? No more? How about? No? Alright. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Is Crouton here? Is Crouton here? I hear you've been investigating St. Mystere. Feel free to continue, but stay away from that tower. That place brings misfortune upon the village, and I strongly advise you to keep your distance. I want your coins, fam. I'm here for your coins. I don't care about your pictures. I want your... You ain't got no coins in here, fam? Come on, Crouton. All right. We're getting out. We're getting out of here. Oh, we already explored. Do we talk to this man? Did this man give me a puzzle? Percy, is it true what they're saying about a murder at Reinhold Manor? A murder in our little village. The very thought gives me goosebumps and a great idea for a novel. Oh, excuse my insensitivity. I'm just always on the lookout for new ideas. How can I help you? We're looking for Ramon. Have you seen him around? Hmm, no, I can't say that I've seen him today. But if your search around town has turned up nothing, he's probably at the park or in the tower. You know, somewhere the villagers don't normally go. The tower, huh? Oh, you should stay far from that tower. Oh, excuse me. You should stay as far away from that tower as possible. There are all sorts of bad rumors about it. It sure seems that way. We keep running into people who say that. Just what are the rumors? Just, you know, bad stuff. There's something really scary about that tower. All right. Uh-oh. 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 That's it. That little mini cutscene. All right. Let's head this way. We got to find Crouton. Ah! What the heck was that sound? Oh, it's Polly. Ah! Oh, I just had it! Would someone please stop that awful racket? What's the matter, sir? Who are you calling, sir? I'm a young man. Ah, uh, but never mind that. I'm furious. That sound, that horrible noise. I can't get a week of sleep at night. Used to be the tower only made noise every once in a while. But recently it stopped roaring. It's been roaring. No, stop. How am I supposed to sleep? You hear me, you big jerk of a tower? How am I supposed to sleep? That's another one of the voices I can't do on the regular. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, 
Please calm yourself, sir. <coughs> oh, Lord. All right. Add that to the list of voices I'm not doing again. Please calm yourself, sir. Do you have any idea what the source of that deafening din is? You know, now that I mention it, I don't have the slightest clue about that. I've heard it's the roar of a huge boss that lives up in the tower, but who knows? So the noise is coming from the tower, is it? All right. Looks like we got to head to the tower after we talk to this girl. Adria. Tee <laughs> That guy gets so worked up that he turns red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Well, thanks. Thanks, girl. Coin. No more. Is that it? Uh, that it? Uh, wait. Wait. Nope. I guess that's it. All right. Uh, let's head round this way. Oops. I didn't think that would head back that way. I thought that was going around the corner. Okay, looks like we have to head this way now. Uh, it's a vase. This vase better not have a puzzle for me. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be hot. That. Oh my God! It does. That filthy jar reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. Bottle full of germs. Twenty picarat. A glass jar holds a single germ. Oh, Lord, it's multiplying. It's another one of these nonsenses. Okay. Okay. <sighs> a glass jar holds a single germ. After one minute, the germ splits into two germs. After or one minute after that, the two germs each split again, forming a total of four germs. Continuing at this rate, a single germ can multiply to fill the whole jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this... How many? How long in minutes would it take to fill the jar if you had started with two germs? It's not as easy as half, is it? Half an hour, 30 minutes? After one minute, it splits into two germs. After one minute, after another minute, it splits into four. They all split into four. Oh, oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. What we have for this one. Do we want to use exponents? We start with one, have two, and then after that, everything gets squared or cubed or however many. So, one minute passes. At zero minutes, we have one journey. At one minute, we have two germs, which is two to the first. After two minutes, we have four germs, which is two to the second. Three, we have eight, two to the third. If we follow that all the way down, because we're not writing out 60 different, different permutations here. Uh, after 60, we have two to the 60th. So two to the sixtieth. Two to the sixtieth. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I expected it to display all those numbers. Okay. So in the event if we started with two germs, if at zero we had two germs, would it be fifty nine minutes? If at zero we start with two germs, we have two to the first. After one minute, we'd have four germs, two to the second. After two minutes, we'd have eight germs, two to the third. Three, we'd have 16, two to the fourth. Following that all the way down, for us to get to the same number to fill the jar, We'd have to have two to the sixtieth. We don't need to know exactly how many. We just need to know how many. Uh, we don't need to know how many germs. We need to know how many minutes it would take. So if 
Starting with one, it takes us 60 minutes, one hour, to get two to the 60th. If we start with two, instead of 60 minutes, it's going to take us 59 minutes to get to two to the 60th. Leighton and his trick-ass questions. Every time it's Leighton. Every single time we have Leighton. Oh, I remember. I remember this puzzle. Let's see. I forgot how you do fives on the Nintendo DS. He has to be one, one line. 59 minutes is what I'm saying. How does this sound? Bam. All we did was take out, um, we didn't, it's not that we doubled how many we started with, it's that we took out one step. Bam. There we go. Saves us one minute. Nice try. Nice try, Leighton. You and your stupid ass mice won't get me. I hate Leighton and I hate mice. <laughs> this star is actually kind of neat. Why don't we take it with us? But my boy is covered in grime. Well, what's this? Something's hiding inside the jar. I think you're right. Luke, reach a hand in and see what's inside, will you? It's a painting scrap. Let's see. Are we supposed to take the painting scraps anywhere specific? Or we just have them on us? Yeah, we just have them with us. Uh, touch a piece of the painting to go to a screen where you can place your selected piece. You can also enter the placement by tapping on the yellow arrow at the top of the selection screen. Turn to the screen, blah, blah, blah. Move pieces on the placement uh, screen with your stylus. Grab the piece in the circle that appears to slide the piece around. Oh, my God. If you touch a piece outside the circle, you can... Listen, how many... You put the whole painting back together, something good will happen. You're going to give us a puzzle. That goes here. Unless you rotate it. Oh, great. You rotate it. Lovely. This isn't going to be fun. This is, there's fun, and then there's whatever the hell this is. One one of these days, what we'll do is we'll just sit here. We'll play with the, with the once we get, oops, I hit the wrong button all together. Because it looked like those two pieces fit together, so I want to put them together. Um... Once I get all 20 pieces, we're just going to have a stream where we sit here. We, we try and put this puzzle together. How about it? How about it? Uh, it can't be here. Well, maybe these two don't go together. Okay. Back we go. <laughs> we're at four, piece, four puzzle pieces already. Okay. Let's see. It's completely optional. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just it's you unlock like pictures and stuff it's it's fine i like doing that i like doing the side stuff sometimes we won't i'm not gonna dedicate not gonna dedicate time to every stream doing it but you know we'll get to it eventually ryan hope park open at 10 a.m shut at uh, 5 p.m all right uh i guess we can go this way we haven't gone this way yet oh wait that's where we just came from if for some reason it doesn't look like it doesn't look like that's where it went to me. I don't know. Could just be my eyes. My eyes suck sometimes. Oh boy, is this cro is this crouton or is that crouton? Let's start this one. Give us a puzzle. So I hear you two are in the puzzles. I can tell it's obvious from the way you're ogling these coins. You can smell it, can't you? Well, you're right. There's a puzzle in these coins. Have a look. Number 25, the equilateral triangle. It's worth 25 pick rats. Here we go. Here we go. In the drawing below, 10 coins are arranged to form an equilateral triangle. The triangle is pointing up right now, but can you get it to point down by moving three of the coins? All right. Let's give it a, let's give it a go. Can slide the coins while moving with the slide uh, stylus. You're satisfied with the position. Okay, I can only move three. I can only move three coins. You need an equilateral triangle that's pointing downward. 
by only moving three coins. Let's see. Which three do I want to move? It's got a point downward. So we need four at the top, three in the row below that, two in the row below that, and then one at the bottom. Triangle is pointing up right now, but can you get the point down by moving three of the coins? I feel like this is a fun one. See, I like I like the ones like this. These are fun. Only move three coins. Equilateral. Damn. Let me see. No card time. <laughs> I have three. I'm sorry, I have four. Three below that. Three below that. And then the last one. Er, three below the four. Two below the three. And then one left. I wanna I wanna move three triangle uh, three coins. It's still have an equal L triangle, but one that's pointing downward. Let's see. Let's see. I wonder I wonder who in chat can figure this one out. Only move three. Let me test something out. This isn't me solving it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's only going to let me move three. Because it doesn't say only up there. That's what I was... <laughs> that's how I was testing. Okay. What if... This one? I did it. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. It's this one here. This one here, and this one here. <laughs> Dunzo! That should do it. Yeah! Every puzzle has an answer. The interesting thing about this puzzle is the whole triangle changes shape with the simple shifting of a few coins. The trick is to think about the quarters of the first triangle. That's a, that, honestly, that's exactly what I did. I said if I move the two at the bottom, then I if I move the two at the end at the bottom, this one and this one, then I have these two left. That's the almost the bottom. Now I just need to move something here. Done so. Yeah, it was that was dope. That one was dope. Yep, it's just as I thought. You guys are a bunch of puzzle nuts. Another strange gizmo. Same mysterious full of puzzle lovers like you two. But not all of them are nice like me. Watch your back. Let's put the gizmo together. I think we have what, one piece? Two? Yeah, the nose. Oh, I guess that goes on the inside. Alright. Dope. Alright. Let's see, Carlos says Flick has cool puzzles. I'm, I'm holding your word to it. I'm holding your word to it. Oh, it's Crouton. Hey. Ramon, he hasn't been around today. <gasps> Looks like we've hit another dead end. Too bad you couldn't find him. He usually skips out of work and comes here to uh, gossip and have coffee. And you know, speaking of gossip, I heard some weird rumors from my customers lately. Recently, there's been talk of some old strange, some strange old man running around St. Mysterio kidnapping people. A kidnapper? Who is this old man? I heard all of this secondhand, so you got me there. You need to find a better source for village gossip. Uh, which person is that that knows village gossip? I can't think of their name. I can't think of their name offhand, but I know as soon as we see them, that's it. You might want to try your luck at the cafe. Usually, you'll hear rumors straight from the source there. It's almost sunset now, so the cafe should be open for dinner. Mysterious old kidnapping village folk. Old man kidnapping village folk. Now that's a rumor. 
All right, back to the cafe we go. Oh, we beat chapter three. All right, so we'll be taking, <laughs> we'll be starting uh, chapter four relatively soon. All these puzzles are ones that we missed. All of these are ones that we missed. Find the dot is the one that we started with, and I, I skipped it over completely. Professor, it's getting dark out. I'm afraid that's my cue to start closing up shop. Come by tomorrow if you get hungry. Uh-oh. Oh boy, it's dark out. Luke, let's take a moment to sum up our findings. We have a strange roaring tower, disappearing villagers, and an old elderly kidnapper. It's all so bizarre. I can't make any sense of it at all, Professor. I think we finally found some clues on our hands, boy. Observing the nightlife in this village might tell us more of what we need to know. Great idea, Professor. Chapter 4, Night Falls. It's turned dark and Ramon still has a return. Continue the investigation to find clues. Save the progress? Yes, but of course we're saving the progress. How many hours in are we? Four, almost five. <laughs> Four hours, 50 minutes. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.